If you've been waiting for a sign to finally start your business, this is it. What's up guys, this is Monique and welcome back to the channel. I am back with the news that you can use, but first, if you are new here, hello, bonjour, hola, aloha, konnichiwa, wagwan, shalom. Thanks for stopping by, but don't be a stranger. Hit that subscribe button and join the family. So if you are wanting to start a business and you are not quite sure what you want to start, but the one thing you are sure of is you tired of that nine to five. Do not worry, that's why I'm making this video today to give you 10 business ideas that you can start right now, yes, even in a recession. And you can even start these side hustles while working your nine to five until you can make that side hustle your main hustle. And I wanted to give you plenty of ideas, why? Because I don't know your interests, your experience, your skills, what you want to do. Chucks, you might not even know what you want to do so that's why I have a variety pack here and I also share some tools that many have used to be successful in these businesses and let's jump right into number one which is Amazon FBA so with Amazon FBA not FBI what basically happens is you find a hot item that is selling you purchase that product and then you ship it to Amazon and they store it in their fulfillment center and when someone's on Amazon searching for said product then they purchase it and Amazon does all the dirty work for you they pack it and they ship it and you you get paid but they also take their cut too because you know everything's about money yes it is a bit saturated in the Amazon market however people are still making tons of money doing it this 30 year old retiree made $97,000 in passive income last year and this 16 year old made two million dollars selling game consoles on Amazon so this could be the next business you need to start for this second business idea we are going to enter into the world of beauty a lot of people have spent money on skin and body care products because many people have turned on their self-care mode. So this is the best time to launch an online beauty care company that focuses on skin, hair, nails, and just body care overall. And you know outside has opened back up so a lot of people are going places and they do need makeup too so if that is something that interests you, you can do that. And let me tell you what, a lot of these millionaires in the beauty world are purchasing their products and it is right from Alibaba. I hope I said that right, I don't know. But Super, who owns the Crayon Case Cosmetics has said that she purchased her stuff from Alibaba and her business is a multi-million dollar business. Alibaba is a perfect way for you to find suppliers. People try to also make fun of Alibaba and make it seem like Alibaba is a, um, a place where you shouldn't shop for supplies. Yes, it is. You can find a man on Alibaba. You hear me? You can find anything. I've been working with Alibaba since 2015. I've been having the same suppliers with the crown case since 2017. All right, so the third business is in another huge industry, and that's going to be starting an online pet care business. Because in the year of 2020, the pet care industry brought in over $103 billion in sales. America loves their pets. And the things that you can focus on selling is essential pet products like food and water bowls, leashes and collar, pet beds, treats, toys, pet grooming brushes. And again, all of these products can be found on Alibaba. And then if you don't want to just have your own shop online, because you can use things like Shopify, but you can also plug these back into Amazon FBA and then ship it to them and let them do all the work. We are making businesses, but we being smart about them. So I've been sharing a lot of product based businesses. I'm going to share one more with you because this is another big industry. And the fourth business idea is going to be with babies. No matter what is going on in the world, people are going to take care of their children and they are going to continue to buy products to do so. And if you didn't know, here's a little FYI, 385,000 babies are are born in the world every day. There is no such thing as being an oversaturated market in this industry. And things that you can kind of focus on selling are baby clothes, bottles. That was just a formula shortage and if someone had started a business with that, they could have racked up. But you can sell the big ticket items too. Everybody needs a crib, they need a stroller. You can get all these things again on Alibaba and then you can sell them yourself. If you are enjoying yourself so far, please go ahead on and gently tap that like button for me to help me out because it helps to get this info out to more people so the fifth business idea is going to be buying and selling domains you know www.youtube.com that's a domain you can't buy that one though however I really didn't realize this 
this was a thing until I needed to buy my own domain and somebody else purchased it before me. So then if I really want that domain, it's going to force me to have to purchase it from that person who already bought it. And usually they buy it at like a low price, maybe $5 to $14. And what they do is turn around and sell it to you for five to 10 times that price. So usually people do this by finding common words like help.com, although I know that's already taken. Or they come to YouTubers that have a following and then they'll take their name like they did to me and then they buy it and then they wait until they come around to buy it back. But some people like myself, I put a dash in my name. I didn't need it that bad. But a lot of people are successful at doing this. So the next business idea is going to be to start a property management company. Now we all know real estate is where the bread and butter is. But everybody does not have the capital to invest. So starting a property management company is a good way to get your foot into the door of real estate. And trust me when I say landlords are eager to get rid of the responsibility of dealing with tenants. So this can be a booming business for you. And things you're typically responsible for is leasing, collecting fees and rent, doing inspections, making sure maintenance is taken care of. The one thing I do know that no matter whether there's a recession or not, people still need somewhere to live. People are still renting and therefore this is going to be a job that's always in demand. And now this business idea for number seven is going to be a fairly unique one and that's to start a drone photography and videography company. And this is especially if you are good at taking photos. This is not an oversaturated industry so you can do pretty well pretty quickly. And no matter what recession or not, pandemic or not, people are still trying to put houses out there. And in order to sell houses, especially the higher priced ones, they will pay big bucks to people to come and collect the right photos and get the right videos of this home and drones is a really popular one that they are drawn to because it gets a view from the air and that's one that not everyone has now y'all know i had to i had to do it y'all i had to add number eight to the list and that is here in the land of youtube in my opinion but i'm a little biased i must admit there is no better business to start right now than here on YouTube. People are making millions of dollars here. Take Graham for instance. This is how much he says he made last year alone by recording videos, placing them on YouTube, and allowing YouTube to place ads in his videos. So when you add all of that up, we come to $2,035,510.70 earned in 2021. And especially during these times like the pandemic or even during this recession, session people are looking for entertainment they need motivation and a lot of people are looking to learn a new skill you know anytime you don't know how to do something the first place you're going to turn to is YouTube and you could have the skill that someone is searching for so whatever skill that may be or whatever experiences you have or if you're just naturally good at entertaining people and making them feel good you can share it on YouTube and literally end up making millions so business idea number nine is going to be to start a virtual assistant agency. Virtual assistants are very popular right now and definitely in high demand. And on top of that, there's a lot of money that can be made in this field, especially if you market to the right people. And by right people, sometimes I'm talking about YouTubers because a lot of YouTubers are hiring assistants, virtual assistants and executive assistants, just any kind of assistant agency you can go ahead on and start. And you know the pandemic forced a lot of people to take that brick and mortar and move it to online and they still need help. And that's where you can step in. And business number 10 is going to be to start a delivery service. I do know one thing during the pandemic, food delivery services more than double. But people are still utilizing delivery services. And other than food delivery, there's another type of delivery that you can tap into that I don't hear many people are doing, but it is much needed. And that is going to be like a pharmaceutical type of delivery service. Many people sometimes go without medications because they have no way to go and pick it up. So this way where you can step in and you can deliver medications to people. Or you can start a neighborhood delivery service where you go and pick up and drop off things to people in the neighborhood, but you give them a certain radius that you are willing to go. You can charge by the mile and then you can rack up. You just have to get creative with these things, guys. There is literally so many different things that you can do, but these are like the top things that I've seen many people are successful in. So I hope that these things help you. Please do not forget to like this video. Also subscribe if you have not done so and other than that i thank you so much for watching and until next time we are out peace <laughs>